Virginia Tech specialists Joe Rowland and Professor Percival Zhang have found a substantially less expensive approach to create hydrogen fuel that could reform the autos of tomorrow. The analysts at Virginia Tech have found another natural method for making hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen fuel produced using corn husks and stalks could be the sustainable power source leap forward required for autos. The potential leap forward strategy is less expensive and less tedious than conventional techniques and can possibly end our reliance on non-renewable energy source. ECN MAG reports. This technique utilizes plentifully accessible corn stover, the stalks, cobs, and husks, to deliver the hydrogen. The group's new discoveries, distributed Monday in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, could help speed the boundless entry of the hydrogen-controlled vehicles in a way that is cheap and has to a great degree low carbon outflows. This implies we have shown the most vital advance toward a hydrogen economy, delivering circulated and moderate green hydrogen from neighborhood biomass assets, said Percival Zhang, a teacher in the Department of Biological Systems Engineering which is in both the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences and the College of Engineering. The group as of now has gotten critical subsidizing for the following stage of the venture, which is proportional up creation to a show estimate. In spite of the fact that it is hard to foresee fetched now, this work speaks to a progressive approach that offers numerous new favorable circumstances, said Lonnie Owingram executive of the Florida Center for Renewable Chemicals and Fuels at the University of Florida, who knows about the work yet not related with the group. These specialists have absolutely expanded the extent of our reasoning about digestion and how it plays into the fate of option vitality generation. Joe Rowland a previous doctoral understudy of Zhang's at Virginia Tech and prime supporter with Zhang of the new business without cell bioinnovations, is the lead creator on the paper. This work expands upon past investigations Zhang's group has finished with xylose, the most inexhaustible straightforward plant pentose sugar, to create hydrogen yields that already were feasible just in principle. Their new revelation is novel in two ways. Not at all like other hydrogen fuel generation strategies that depend on exceptionally handled sugars, the Virginia Tech group utilized filthy biomass, the husks and stalks of corn plants, to make their fuel. This not just decreases the underlying cost of making the fuel, it empowers the utilization of a fuel source promptly accessible close to the preparing plants, making the making of the fuel a nearby undertaking. Roland utilized a hereditary calculation alongside a progression of complex numerical articulations to examine each progression of the enzymatic procedure that separates corn stover into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. He additionally affirmed the capacity of this framework to utilize the two sugars glucose and xylose in the meantime, which expands the rate at which the hydrogen is discharged. Regularly in natural transformations, these two sugars must be utilized consecutively, not at the same time, which adds time and cash to the procedure. One of the greatest obstacles to across-the-board hydrogen utilize is the capital cost required to deliver the fuel from flammable gas in expensive offices. Dispersion of the hydrogen to clients of power device vehicles is another key test. Roland's model expanded response rates by triple, diminishing the required office size to about the extent of a corner store, which lessens related capital expenses. The overwhelming current strategy for creating hydrogen utilizes flammable gas, which is costly to circulate and causes fossil carbon discharges. To create circulated hydrogen at reasonable costs, item yield, response rate, and item detachment must be tended to. As far as item yield, the utilization of without cell simulated enzymatic pathway not just breaks the regular furthest reaches of hydrogen delivering microorganisms by three times yet in addition keeps away from confused sugar motion direction. The group likewise expanded enzymatic error rates. This response rate is sufficiently quick for hydrogen generation in dispersed hydrogen filling stations. The accomplished response rate is no less than 10 times that of the speediest photograph hydrogen creation framework. 
The response the analysts considered happens at unassuming conditions. This implies hydrogen can be effectively isolated from watery reactants and compounds. Additionally, enzymatic responses, for example, those being utilized as a part of this framework produce high immaculateness hydrogen, ideal for hydrogen energy unit vehicles. The unobtrusive response conditions additionally show the plausibility of low capital prerequisites for building appropriated hydrogen producing and powering stations in light of this innovation. We trust this energizing innovation can possibly empower the across-the-board utilization of hydrogen energy unit vehicles around the globe and uproot non-renewable energy sources, Roland said.